friends, welcome to another video. We have Colby here. How old are you, Colby? I'm 13 years old. 13? So Colby has started a summer job. And this is great because uh, if you need some extra money during the summer, this is a great way to extra money. And you're washing cars, you're detailing, right? Yeah, How's it going you. so far? I've done about three to four, I think three or four cars so okay. far. And I've made $40 off of each one. And nice. I can do it for like so you're charging 40 bucks and what are you doing to the car? I'm doing only doing the interior. Okay. And getting rid of all the trash and making it look like it was brand new. That's awesome, man. All right, so we're gonna work together. We're gonna wash a car. We'll talk about your business and what you're doing. I got some products for you, actually. Okay. So Shine Supply was nice enough to send out some products for you. So I wanna show you the products. We'll use them together and then these are yours to take home, man. Jumping in here, we got some auto fiber mitts. This is a wash mitt. These are really cool. It's called the Flat Out. Great wash mitts. We got some drying towels for you. Let me show you what we got going on. So this is Shine Supply. They're out of California. They make awesome detailing products. What are you using right now? I'm just using stuff that we get from like the stores and stuff. It's like just like basic cleaner type. Nice. Cool. A lot of this, any stuff that you buy is going to work well. These are great. These are kind of made for the professional. They're uh, kind of a level up mm -hmm. in detailing products. So we got, we got some shampoos here. So this is your regular car shampoo. Are you do doing the outsides of the vehicles? Or are you washing them? Not yet. Okay. Yeah, we're thinking about doing that later okay. though. So 40 bucks, what do you get for $40 on the interior? Like what would I spend on it? Yeah, what are you doing? You're vacuuming, you're wiping I'm down. I'm vacuuming, I'm wiping like the doors and I'll do like the windows and stuff. I would do the windshield and the back, then review, like mirror and stuff. That's killer. How long is that taking you? Uh, about three hours, probably, okay. like the total. Nice. That's awesome. So, uh, we're going to teach you how to do an exterior wash. We're going to start by cleaning the, the exterior of the car. You'll need access to water. Are you doing this at your house, or are you going I'm, to there? I'm doing it at my house, yeah. That's awesome. And do you have access to water and everything? Yeah, I use the hose. That's killer, man. Number one, we try to work in the shade. So like working mm -hmm. on the exterior, yeah. if you can work in the shade, I don't know if the house shades it or if the garage. Yeah, we use, I try to time it so that like the house gives some a bit of shade so yeah. I don't burn in the sun. Yeah, working in the sun is no fun. No. It's hot for you. And then a lot of times when you're working on the car, like one of the number one rules with working with chemicals is you don't want anything to dry on the vehicle. Yeah. So uh, usually rinse it and then I work with the wheels. So we have some wheel cleaner here. Um, we have some interior cleaners. We have a ceramic detailer. I'm gonna show you how you can do just a regular wash and actually do an upsell for protection. So this is a spray on ceramic coating, probably about two to three months of protection in here. And you can spray that on the vehicle and you can actually add another $30, $40 to it and takes about five minutes. Really easy, really easy to use. Let's start, I usually start with the wheels. So let's get ready. A couple of these products here have, um, you gotta dilute them. So this is one of the wheel cleaners that I love using. This is Wise Guy and it's a tire and wheel cleaner. So we can clean both the rubber and the actual wheel with this. But this one needs to be diluted. So this one uh, will dilute the product one to one mm -hmm. and it comes with these spray bottles. So uh, let's start by that, we'll get it diluted. This is our wash bay. Um, so we have pressure washers on each side. If you're gonna use a garden hose, that's perfectly yeah. fine to use a garden hose to rinse off the car, clean the wheels and everything. Uh, let's mix this up real quick and then we'll get started. So I'll show you some of the different tools that we use and then I'll show you the process that we're gonna clean the car with. So I'm gonna add some water to this real quick. What's nice about these bottles is it kind of gives you the measurements on the side. So if we want to do just one to one, so this is, uh, see that, one to one? Yeah. So I filled that. So I'm going to fill the water up first and then I'm going to put the chemical in up to the fill line up there. And that'll be measured one to one. What got you into uh, um, detailing? How did you think of this? So it was actually, I actually, I think I wanted a new baseball bat for uh, my baseball season yeah. and so I had to do chores around the house and I, one of them was cleaning my mom's car <laughs> and then That's my awesome. mom loved the uh like loved that the car like how I did it and then it just started from there well, that's awesome that's how these things start man so what are you doing now just a lot of neighborhoods and yeah, uh, neighborhoods friends and my mom's friends basically okay yeah killer man 
All right, so now we got our mix. We're gonna put on some gloves. I like wearing just some gloves. None of these chemicals are really that dangerous. This will keep them from drying out or anything like that. So when we're washing the exterior of the vehicle, we'll run into a lot of different things. You may have sand on there. Um, if it's in the springtime, you may have some salt on there. So what we wanna do is safely wash the car and remove all the dirt and the sand from the car without adding any scratches. So what can happen is if you use something on the car, say the car is dirty and you even like just rub your hand against it or you put a towel on it, any of that could cause like small scratches and swirls. So what we use is we use soap as a lubricant and it helps remove all that sand from the surface without scratching it. So what I like to do is usually start on the wheels and we'll start here. Uh, we have our pressure washer. I'm gonna show you a little bit on the wheels here. I'll show you some of the tools okay. and then we'll go along um, and we'll finish the wheels and we'll go right to the paint. So yeah. I like to rinse everything first. So starting here on the back wheel, I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse it. We always have buckets here and these are dedicated buckets for our wheels. So we have lots of different like uh, brushes and this is a nice mitt that's actually dedicated for the wheel. So we don't okay. use this on the paint. Yeah. And what I'll do here is I'll spray the chemical right on the wheel. I'll spray a little bit in the wheel well. And this is a wheel woolly here. This is a, like a microfiber mm -hmm. um, sponge on, on a stick, so it's yeah. really nice to and be you able put it to in between. Yeah, get in the barrel of there. <clears throat> you have your option here, depending on how much time you want to spend or how much you're going to charge. Mm -hmm. We could just clean the face of the wheel here. You know, these are big enough to where we're easily, we can easily get back into this barrel. Yeah. But there may be some wheels that it's tough to get into, or you may not want to clean the entire yeah. back there. Or they may not be, they may not care about that part of the wheel cleaning. Yeah. You know, depending on what type of car it is and what type of, uh, what they're looking for, you can decide that when you're out there talking to the customer or seeing what they want done. Because obviously this is going to take a little bit longer to clean yeah. all the barrels in there. After I clean that barrel, this is one of my favorite mitts here. We're actually going to rinse it off a little bit. This is kind of like a half mitt. Mm -hmm. And you can use this to clean all the spokes and the face of this wheel. And then I'll use it to clean the rubber here. And then I'll clean just this lip, just the outside there. I'll do that one time and then I'll rinse it off. And then I can move to the next wheel. You want to do the next one? Sure. Killer. There's that. There's your product. Have you used a pressure washer before? No, I have not. So a pressure washer um, is nice because you're going to have a lot more force coming out of there yeah. to help clean. Um, you do want to keep it about a foot, a foot and a half away from the car just so you don't uh, cause any type of damage yeah. or anything like that. But you'll just pull that trigger and you're good to go. And then you can spray this. What's nice about this, this trigger here, mm -hmm. so if you want to spray it where it's a straight line, you actually, you'll just turn this nozzle here. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to get more of a, a spread, you can turn it a little closer. Like if you turn it, you can turn it all the way off yeah. if, you, if you. 
No, you can't. <laughs> but depending on what kind of spray, you just turn this just a little bit. So it's nice about that nozzle. Yeah, you can use that one. This one here is another type of brush for the barrels. This one's a little thinner, so you can see it'll be able to fit those tight areas. So if you see this here, this is nice because it's big and thick, but sometimes it doesn't fit behind some of this stuff. Yeah, and then that one will. If you have like a, a wheel where the rotor is all the way to that barrel, sometimes you'll need a brush like that to get in between them because this won't fit. So that's why we had different types of brushes there, but this one works perfect for this. Are you usually by yourself when you're detailing? Yeah. You haven't not... recruited any friends yet? No. <laughs> Yeah, I started, um, so when I first started detailing, I think I was like 19, and um, I started in a van. So like most of this equipment, you can actually put into your car. So I had like um, um, a tank of water, I had a, a generator, and then I could turn on that generator and I could pump water out of the tank onto the car. And then all I needed is a vacuum, some soaps, and some buckets and everything. And, yeah. and we can do the same thing that we're doing here. You know, I tried to, like, if, if I knew the customer well, I'd be able to use their electricity and they'd yeah. let me use their water and everything. That was always nice to do. Um, but I think most people are okay with you using their water and, or you bringing it to your house and using your own water. So what are the cars looking like uh, the that you're usually one? doing? It, the first one was the dirtiest because it was like a family of like eight. Yeah. So was it, it was a minivan. It was a minivan too. So. So you so you vacuumed everything up. Yeah. That one that one was the longest. Yeah. I, I think she like dropped it off at like one, and then I like finished at like seven. <laughs> wow. It was a long time. So you spent six hours on that one. Yeah. It felt like that at yeah. least. Yeah. Well, that's pretty normal when you're getting started. You kind of figure out uh, the process on how to do things, especially in the interior. I know the first car that I did, it took about eight hours to interior detail. <laughs> um, it can take a while, but the more you do it, the faster you get, uh, the better you're gonna get. So when I'm doing wheels, I like to start in one area and then just work my way around. So like I'll start at the bottom usually and then, go up and then like I'll go way. up. And then when I get to that bottom, I know I'm done. And then you can switch out to this mitt and then clean all the little faces here. Sometimes I'll use a little brush. You can get in, in between there. You can get this back area. You can get this caliper. And then the last step I'll do is I'll make sure I uh, hit that tire yeah. with that too, yeah? Perfect. Give her a rinse, move on to the other side. So when we're rinsing, all we wanna do is just make sure all the soap's off. Any soap that would still be on there will dry and you'll see that dirt. So yeah. nice, good rinse, and I just rinse it until I don't see any more suds. Nice job. All right, let's hit the other side. I'll let you do that front one, I'll do the back one. Looking good? Yeah. Sweet. All right. This is Wise Guy. Mm -hmm. So you'll have this already mixed up. You'll keep that. Um, you could um, write on the back here what this product is. Yeah. Um, just so you don't mix it up with anything. Uh, you'll have a little bit left in there. So this is going to be mixed one to one. Okay. Now this is a basic wheel and tire cleaner. So uh -huh. this is for maintenance, and that's mostly what you're gonna be doing. Yeah. You know, maybe in the next few years, 
you build up a little clientele. Yeah. And if you want to do more of the detailing stuff, there's other wheel cleaners on the market that will kind of target brake dust and build up like that. What I try to teach our employees here is, is we're just removing the stuff that's sitting on the surface, right? Yeah. There may be some stuff that's connected to the surface that's not going to come off. So that could be tar, that could be sap, it could be built on brake dust. So if uh -huh. the person doesn't uh, take care of their car and wash it or maintain it normally, yeah. that brake dust can build up and start baking on the wheel. And sometimes you may not be able to get it off with just this product. And so I think this is important because if you're just washing a car, Mm -hmm. You're just going to be removing the dirt, the salt, and any grime or any road grime on the car. Yeah. If there's sap, if there's excess of tar, or if there's built up brake dust, there's other products that help dissolve them and remove them. But that's going to be an extra step. You know, sometimes if a wheel is really dirty and they haven't cleaned it in a long time, you might spend like 45 minutes on a wheel. So you have to know what is just a regular car wash and what is going into the detailing yeah. realm, which can take a lot longer. Mm -hmm. And it's important for you to explain to the customer too that, that you're just maintaining it. You're gonna just clean the dirt off of it and clean that yeah. normal off. Anything extra, like if there's, if there's a little bit of tar, it, you may be able to easily mm -hmm. remove that. But if they have road paint or built up brake dust like that, it's just gonna take more time and yeah. some different chemicals to be able to do that. Very big distinction there that you'll have to kind of get there. Cause you can't, you're not gonna be able to make it look brand new if it wasn't mm -hmm. very well maintained. Yeah. You get it? Mm -hmm. Cool, so that's the wheel cleaner there. We have a couple different uh, shampoos. So this is, uh, this is Hot Shot. This is a, just a regular car wash uh, shampoo. And then this is uh, Shift. This is a uh, pure, so this is a, uh, a neutral, a pH balanced car soap. This is great for uh, vehicles that are ceramic coated um, or already uh, have a wax on them. Okay. This is not going to strip anything away. Um, okay. And this is just your normal uh, car wash shampoo. It smells really good. So we'll use this. And again, on the directions on the back are going to show your dilution. So this is going to be two Sweet. ounces of hot shot into a bucket of water. And you can also use this with a foam cannon if you ever did get a pressure washer. I don't mm -hmm. think you need one now, mm -mm. you know. Uh, the, the hose is perfectly fine to use. Two ounces. So we have two buckets here. So mm -hmm. um, we want to do everything in our power to, to be as clean as possible. So we're going to use some wash mitts. We use two buckets because one is just going to be filled with regular water. So this one just says rinse. Mm -hmm. And then this one says wash. So our soap is going to be here. We'll give it two nice squeezes. That's about two ounces. We have our wash mitts here. And so what we're going to do, most of the grime, you can see all the bugs on here too, right? Yeah. So we can pre-treat those. Um, we can actually use some of our wheel cleaner. So this is a uh, kind of a degreaser here. And again, we don't want this to dry on the vehicle. No. So with all these bugs on here, there are some dedicated bug removers, but this is perfectly fine too to use. We'll pre-treat that. Let that sit for just a second. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse the vehicle from the top okay. to the bottom. We're gonna get all the dirt and as much of the bugs off as possible. And then when we wash it, we're gonna wash from the top to the bottom most of the grime and all of the nasty stuff is going to be on the rocker panels so we save that for last okay we'll wash one or two panels at a time and then we'll rinse it in our bucket here so on the bottom this is a grit guard you see that on the bottom there and what that does is that separates all that sediment or sand it goes to the bottom yeah. sinks to the bottom and then when we pre when we put our mitt in there we actually kind of rub it against that grit guard uh -huh. and that's going to loosen anything that's stuck in our mitt. So we'll rinse it out real nice and then we can come back to the soap and then we'll wash the car. Okay. So uh, there's another pressure washer right there. Uh, what we're going to do is again keep that pressure washer about a foot and a half away and we're going to pressure wash the whole car and just remove any of that dirt that's sitting right on top of that surface. Okay. And then we'll go to our wash process.
grab your wash mitt there and we'll start. You'll clean that half, I'll clean okay. this half. What's nice about this wash mitt too, you got two different sides. So what I usually do is I'll, I'll clean one or two panels and then I'll actually flip the mitt over because I'll have a nice clean side there and I clean another two panels. So have you been able to buy the new baseball bat yet? I did. Nice. I got it for the season. <laughs> so then when you got the two panels, we'll take this in here and I'll just kind of rub at the bottom there a little bit, wring it out and dip it back in the soap bucket. So I usually like to do the top first and then I'll start on my sides and then I'll do the back and the front of the car just to kind of keep you know, track of where I am. I usually wash in like a square pattern like this. That'll make sure that I'm not missing anything. Cause yeah. what, if you're washing all like crazy eights, you could end up missing parts. Yeah. And then you drive the car and then you got these big old dirt patches yeah. and everything. What's been your biggest challenge so far um, with the few cars that you've done? Probably doing like the vacuuming because like there's just some parts that the vacuum cannot get to. Yeah. Have you ran any any uh, like dog hair? Yeah. That can be fun. An air compressor will help on the interior, speed those things up a little bit, even if it's just a smaller one, a small pancake one or a little four gallon one, that'll help the interior. So this is kind of nice that we're inside mm -hmm. in the shade, but yeah. we don't always have that luxury. Um, a lot of times if I'm washing outside, I'll do one section of the car and then I'll rinse it. Okay. And then I'll wash the next section of the car and I'll rinse it. Just cause you don't want this to dry on there. So if you ever have to do that, just go ahead and wash in sections like that. You all done with your side? Yeah. Cool. All right, now I'll rinse it. Do you see like how much the water is beating there? Yeah. So that that's the hydrophobics mm -hmm. um, of the vehicle. So there is a coating on this and that's what makes the water bead like that. Yeah. If you ever see a car where it's super flat, it's usually a good indicator that they don't have a wax or they don't have a sealant or they don't mm -hmm. have some sort of ceramic coating on there. Um, so that can be very hard to dry with that. This product here, this is a high speed detailer. Okay. You can use this as a waterless wash. So maybe you have a show car that somebody's looking mm. to have spruced up a little bit. Yeah. If it's not that dirty, you can spray a couple of sprays of this and you can almost clean the car without using water. But you could also use it as a drying aid and I'll show you how, that, how that's done. And this will give a little bit of protection. So this is an easy drying aid. This is a big drying towel, it's really nice. So with this, I like to spray just a couple of sprays right on the towel. Okay. And then I'll dry the car with that on it. Just like that. It'll give it some slickness and help dry it a little faster. Here, spray, spray a couple sprays on there for you. Go ahead. This is another product similar to the one that you were using. Um, this one's a more concentrated version though. This is a ceramic detailer. So if you wash the outside of the car, um, usually it, it will take you about an hour, maybe a little more than an hour. Yeah. And you can charge 25, 30 bucks, 35 bucks. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's a normal car, maybe 25, but yeah. if it's like a big truck like that one, 
you might want to charge just a yeah. little bit more because it's going to take longer. You know, smell that. It smells nice. It smells good, huh? So this could be an upsell. So after you dry the car, what you can do is this is going to keep the car hydrophobic just like it is now, mm -hmm. and it'll keep it for several months. And this is very, very easy to use. So after you dry the car, I have these smaller towels here. These are the smaller version of that. And I'll usually use two or three, but it's the same concept. You're gonna spray this, a few sprays there, and I can do about a half a panel at a time with this. I'll do half the panel, I'll wipe it in, and then I'll use my second towel to wipe all the haze away. Sometimes you might get just a little bit of haze if it's like a dark colored vehicle, and that will just, that second towel will actually wipe away that haze. So I'll have you just try that so you can see how it's done. Right onto there. And then just wipe half the hood. Very nice. And then you can wipe it with that one. Just to wipe off any haze, I'll hold the bottle for you. And then I'll spray it down. I know it was hydrophobic before, but you'll get the, that's where you get the nice beating action there. And that'll be protected. And it'll mm -hmm. give it some shine, it'll give it some gloss. And then you could charge an extra $40 for that. And it's gonna take about 10 minutes to do the whole yeah. car. That's a great add-on. Does your mom have a leaf blower at home? She does. So this is our leaf blower here. If she, if she has a corded leaf blower or, or if it's cordless, it's all good. This will speed up the process. So what happens is when you wash a car, you get a lot of water in the mirrors and the door handles yeah. and all the trim and everything. So this will help blow all that water out really yeah. quickly. I usually like to start at the top. And I'll concentrate on some of that trim to get all that water out. So if you hold that button there, and then this is kind of, if you hold this button, but if you hold this button and press that down, it goes a little faster, yeah. so. You wanna hit the whole car, I'll draw behind you. Another great use for this product, since it is like a lubricant and a waterless wash, if I missed any of the bugs, mm -hmm. I'll spray them and kind of use my towel here to get any of the extra bug guts off. And I'll just wipe it real lightly. I won't like grind them in. I'll just softly wipe them. A couple sprays. Wipe them right up. Pretty simple, right? Yep. Any questions on that? No. One of my rules that I try to teach my employees is that mm -hmm. um, the difference between a, a good detailer and a great detailer is a great detailer is just going to double check their work. Yeah. So we can walk around the car, just make sure that we've cleaned everything right. If there's any bugs left on the car, we can wipe them off and just check, just check it. Looks pretty good. So now, these are some older towels. Yeah. We'll just uh, open the door jams and we'll dry them down. Sure. So if you wanna just wipe those door jams. There's a couple things I wanna show you now. Um, so we've cleaned the car. An optional step is to put a tire dressing on there. So Shine Supply has a tire dressing, um, and this is a concentrated version again. So what I've done is I've filled this bottle up halfway, and mm -hmm. we're gonna mix this one to one. And we're gonna put this on the tire, and it'll give a, a new kind of shiny look to it. So we'll mix this up for you. And Auto Fiber gave you a couple of these. So this is a, a Ninja sponge. 
So this is great. Usually uh, I use them on the interior. Mm -hmm. So I'll scrub down the dash, the doors, the leather seats. I mean, you can scrub everything on the car uh, with this here. And then there's an applicator pad on the side. So if you want to use leather conditioner or anything like that. Um, but you can also use this as a tire applicator too. And that's what we're going to use this one for. So I'll keep this one dedicated for the exterior. Okay. So I'll pour in my product. So tire dressing, it's a silicone. Silicon? <laughs> so tire dressing is a silicone. Um, the product, the main ingredient in it, and that's what gives that tire some shine. Uh, but there's different carriers. So they have a water carrier and then they have a solvent carrier. Mm -hmm. And what that is, is the, what, that's the carrier that puts the actual silicone on the rubber tire. So what happens is, is when you wipe it on there, that carrier, whether it's a water or a solvent, has to evaporate mm -hmm. and then it leaves behind the silicone, which is that shine. So this is a water-based product. So that it's mainly made out of water and silicone. And I'll bring one of my um, door jam towels. Uh -huh. And if we come over to the wheel here, so I like to make sure my tire is dry. And I'll wipe this down and make sure it's really dry. I'm gonna use some air real quick just to actually. So what I'll do is spray a couple sprays right into the applicator pad here. And you'll see how kind of runny it is. Uh -huh. We'll get it on there nice and thick. What we wanna do is let this dry. So we'll let it dry for five to 10 minutes. And what that is going to do is that water is going to evaporate and it'll just leave a nice looking tire. So nice and even like that. Mm -hmm. Wanna go ahead and do the other ones? Yeah. that there, put that right there. So I wait five to 10 minutes and we'll show you this. So you can already see it's, it's drying pretty nice and even. Mm -hmm. I'll take a, uh, just a dry microfiber and wipe up any excess there. So it doesn't sling on the paint because it, it looks really bad when it does. So I just take this dry microfiber and I lightly, just lightly blot the tire almost. And then it leaves a nice even shine and it looks good. Not good, huh? Have you had any trouble cleaning glass? Mm, we I uh, usually just use like a glass wipe. Okay. Like glasses wipe to like just clean it off. Okay. That's cool. The end. So I'll show you a little bit of a secret to cleaning glass. Usually one of the more challenging things to do. Uh, so we have the sunshine glass cleaner, uh, three parts water, one part glass cleaner. So we've already filled it up with the water here. Let's fill that to the top. And so with glass cleaning, what I usually use is two towels. And uh, this will kind of help you prevent from having streaks. So we'll go on this side here. All right, so we'll just open this up. Um, this is nice because it's safe for any tinted windows or anything. So what I like to do is I have one wet towel and one dry towel. And these are these have different sides on it. It has a little microfiber side and it has this uh, uh, knotty side on, on there. Yeah. And so what I'll do is I'll spray this side and this will be my wet towel. And this is the most important part here. So most people get streaks from left behind dirt. So yeah. if you see streaks, it means you still have dirt on the actual window. And I'll show you a couple things that can happen. So if I'm cleaning, if this is a really dirty window and I just go and I just clean like this, you can see kind of I left that you spot there, the I left corner. that spot there in the corners. Yeah. So in order to get this really clean, I have to be, I have to get my fingers like way down in that corner I gotta get all the way to the side and I gotta clean 
that entire window. And before it dries, so this is why I usually use this with my left hand, I come back with this one, and this is my dry one, it's actually gonna buff out that window and remove all that product. So two towels, one wet, one dry, mm -hmm. and I work simultaneously. So I'll use this one to clean that entire window, then I'll come back with that second one right after. So what happens if, you know, all that dirt, there's usually um, ammonia or alcohol, alcohol in glass cleaner, which makes yeah. it dry a lot faster. If that dries with all the dirt on there, you're just gonna see a lot of streaks. So that's kind of why you gotta be quick with it. Mm -hmm. And working in the shade helps too. Yeah. Because if you're working in the sun, it's almost impossible sometimes to clean the windows. So let's see what you got on this one. That's the wet one, this will be okay. the dry one. All right, the last product that Shine Supply has provided you with is mm -hmm. an interior detailer. So this is great for uh, doors, dashes, just the interior. What's nice about this is it smells fantastic. <laughs> smell that. It does smell nice. It's like a men's cologne smell. It's really nice. And it's a matte, so it doesn't leave it shiny. So there's some products that will leave the dash a little bit shiny. Mm -hmm. And if you're not careful, you can get streaks and it looks worse <laughs> than yeah. it did before. It may be clean, but it, now it looks streaky. This is not gonna leave any streaks behind. It leaves it matte, it leaves it very nice. Um, so you can use this on the dash, you can use it on the leather, you can use it on it. It's not really like a, a really strong cleaner. It's more of a maintenance product to remove just fingerprints, little stuff sure. on the dash and the doors, yeah. and then dust and everything. So uh, great product to use. And again, it's simple to use. Um, I never like spraying directly on a surface. I always like spraying the towel because what happens here if I sprayed directly on the surface, um, we just clean that window. Yeah. And we're gonna get it all over the window. So I like to spray, and if you're outside too, I like to get real close to the towel, just so the wind doesn't blow up any of the yeah. product and it goes all over the place. So spray a couple times right on that towel. And then you can clean the dash, the doors, the center console. And I'll wipe it and I'll kind of flip that towel over and dry it, but it dries real nice. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna leave any streaks behind. And then it smells really good too. I usually like to vacuum first and then wipe yeah. everything down a little bit easier um, on that part, but this is a great product too. Nice. Any other questions? No. So, I mean, uh, vacuuming, air is gonna make it a little easier. So they do have um, like rubber brushes that you can use to kind of pull up some dog hair, yeah. which helps it a little bit. Or like even these rubber gloves, if you wipe that on the carpet, it'll help pull some of that hair out of those fibers yeah. to uh, make it a little bit easier. Um, I have a great interior detail video. Like if you watch that, it kind of goes through mm -hmm. the different processes and steps and everything. But I mean, for someone like yourself, I'd recommend starting just with like the maintenance services, yeah. just the wash, basic interior cleanups, they're quick and it'll make the biggest difference the fastest. Yeah. And if you can get the timing down, like you can knock these out, like you can do an exterior wash and interior basic cleaning in like an hour and a half and easily charge 40 or 50 bucks. And that's mm -hmm. pretty good money. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sweet. Well, this is all yours to take home, man. Thank you. We'll put everything back. And if you ever have any questions, you know, reach out to me. I'm glad to answer it. You know, maybe in a couple of years, if you want to come work here in the summer, you're more than welcome to, man. But uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's simple, basic. It's doing yeah. the simple, basic things, you know, that's going to make a big difference. Washing mm -hmm. from the top to bottom, using the two buckets, making sure that you're not, uh, you know, having your mitts full of any dirt yeah. or mud or tar. Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. You killed it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. If you got any questions, um, leave them down below. <laughs>